What's up, guys? It's the only ninja wearing a business on Superman. I bring you yet another episode of Fight Like a Superhero here on the Modern Ninja channel. This time we are going over Harley Quinn. Now, uh, this has been asked for a, a lot by a couple people, and so uh, I told you I would do it. Uh, we are finally ready to do Harley Quinn. So sit back, relax, and let's get to it. What we do. Dang, I need to do videos out here more often. Like, there's like a nice waterfall, there's some trees, there's a couple cool seats. I can do an interview here. That would be dope. Huh. Who should I interview? Alright, so with Harley Quinn. <laughs> Hang on, it, I realized it might be a little bit too loud out here. So we're gonna go inside, so hold up. All right, so we are now in an elevator shaft, uh, hoping that no one comes in and awkwardly while we record, but I'm pretty sure I'm the only one. I'm on the top floor, so there's not that many people parked up here anyway, so we should be good. Hopefully, we're, we'll see how that actually works out. But anyway, continuing with this video, Harley Quinn is one of the biggest female characters in comics, let alone villains. She's one of the biggest female characters, period, in comics. And so I doubt any of you don't know who this character is. Um, and so with that said, her fighting style is also very precise and unique to her character and it helps push her character forward. Uh, the character as you know as itself is very crazy uh, Harley Quinn super crazy and Psychotic and that bleeds over into her fighting styles Harley Quinn is often um, Seen using outrageous weapons as well like bats or giant hammers stuff like that a you know a, a giant oversized revolver things like that and so all that correlate to making her fighting style and so for any of you who haven't seen these videos before I want to be very clear this isn't to teach you everything you need to know on how to fight like Harley Quinn that would be, have to be a series in and of itself like I would have to have a series for each of the characters in comics in order to do that but what I am doing is going to take you and teach you the core of what makes her fighting style unique and a couple and I'll teach you a couple different moves to keep um, keep to keep you involved keep you going so that you have somewhere to go so that you have a direction I'll lay out the direction for you. You have to train the fighting style on your own You have to practice different moves on your own, but I can give you the direction to get there So this isn't going to teach you everything, but this will teach you the core so you can build upon it um, So with that said first, I want to go off of the, her acrobat her acrobatics <laughs> Uh, she is an incredible acrobat in the DC universe, and um, her fighting style is very heavily influenced by this. Whether it's cartwheels, uh, kip ups, round offs, flips, all that jumping super high, all of that stuff goes into making her fighting style uh, effective for the character she is. She uses it to, you know, whether it's cartwheel onto someone's shoulders and snap their neck or to backflip around or you know around attacks back uh back handspring around attacks stuff like that cartwheel kicks all that fun stuff comes from acrobat from being an acrobat and so for anyone trying to you know develop her fighting style and move, take it to real life you have to spend a lot of time in the gym practicing and learning how to do all of these great acrobatic feats whether that's flipping cartwheels basically anything you have to work on your flexibility and i'll have a link down to a certain you uh, instagrammer um that i know that is excellent with flexibility hopefully i can get her on this channel at some point in the future hopefully I'll, this is going to you uh, but, um, so you're going to have to focus a lot on that flexibility and using the flexibility combined with your acrobatics to be able to pull off a lot of those techniques. 
Next, I want to talk about the technique she goes for. She doesn't, you know, square up often. She doesn't do the whole boxing back and forth thing often. She knows who she is. She's a small, um, skinny girl that can hit not, you know, as hard as some of the guys she fights, like, you know, all the thugs or the um, trained cops, the SWAT teams, Batman, all those people, Nightwing. She she doesn't go toe to toe with them with her punches. Instead, she uses her acrobatics to get around their attacks and to into positions where she can do things instantly. For example, she often will do a cartwheel or a round off and put her, her legs on the enemy's shoulders, allowing her to get to the neck and get to a place where she's basically safe and snap that neck. Um, and so using those techniques that aren't necessarily squaring up and ready to fight, throwing hands, and instead thinking through what you're about to do, using your acrobatics to put you into a situation where you can finish the fight instantly because that's what you have to do as Harley Quinn because you're not strength-based. You're not built on taking hits or delivering powerful you know, punches and kicks. You, I guess kicks but you're not built around delivering powerful punches or taking a lot of damage. So you have to finish the fight before they can hurt you enough. They can hurt you too much. So keep that in mind whenever you're doing these techniques. Now last, I wanna go into her weapon choices because her weapon choices is fairly unique as far as comic characters go. Um, <laughs> she is definitely crazy with her weapon choices. Her weapons are generally gonna be, you know, the baseball bats, the giant hammers, the oversized revolvers, um, even Joker teeth have been in her arsenal uh, at one point or another. Right now, we're not gonna worry about the giant hammer because that's not realistic. She shouldn't be able to swing it as fast as she does and it do the damage it does. Like, it, it, in order for that to happen, she would need to be really heavy and there's no way she would be able to swing it that fast. Uh, so I, I just, it, for me, I can't, I can't, it doesn't make any sense. If you really want me to go into how to use her hammer, I will figure it out for you guys. I will find a hammer, I'll make a hammer, and I'll figure it out for you guys. But for right now, we're going to stick to the bat because I feel like that's more common. It was in the Suicide Squad stuff, and so I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to stick with it. Sorry, it's, it's, what, it's how it's going to happen. <laughs> so with the bat, she uses the bat devastatingly she uses it in the arkham game she uses it in the movie she uses it on a lot of different tv shows um the bat is completely devastating it's what makes up for her not being able to punch as hard as you know some of the other people she fights um using your bat you have to be able to use it to drop your opponents again quicker than they can hurt you so she uses her bat to uh get you know take out the legs of their opponent take out you know break arms to crack people's heads open like she's not being nice she's a villain and so as your fighting style when you're using those weapons when you're using her fighting style you're not being nice like it's not about niceness it's about beating them to whatever extent before they can beat you and so you have to do what you have to do to win that's just how her fighting style works um, and so again, be careful because if you're doing this to, you know, random Joe Blow off the street, this will get you arrested <laughs> because like half of what she does is just murdering people, straight up murdering people, which don't do. I'm very against you murdering people. So don't do that. But if someone attacks you, that's, you know, if, and you're built like Harley Quinn, you have the skills of Harley Quinn, you have to finish the fight quickly. And so be very direct and be very committed to whatever technique she's do you're doing she is always very committed whether that's charging in um you know hiding out going for the head whatever it is commit to it and go full force because as harley quinn you need to put all your force into those attacks to stop them as fast as possible again stop them before they can hit you because you are relatively fragile and they are not <laughs> so with that said let's go into your favorite part of these episodes i'm sure it's your favorite part maybe it's not if if you like the early part of this video let me know in the comments if you like the second part of this video let me know in the comments all right guys so i have you guys on the ground so you can see my whole body when i do this hopefully it works out and you can see it all um but now we're gonna go into her 
I think, what her most famous technique is, and it's gonna be the cartwheel kick. So if you wanna learn how to cartwheel, definitely check out the Combat for Dummies series uh, on this channel. I don't know if the cartwheel technique is out yet, so you might have to wait for it, but if you already know how to cartwheel, then it's gonna be great for you. It's just a little tweak to your normal cartwheel to make it a little more combat effective. So, here we go. Oh, I hope we don't kick this. That would be bad at the window. <laughs> so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be cartwheeling and uh, going faster down and coming out and putting more power in our kick. So whatever leg is in front is the leg you're gonna be kicking with on your cartwheel kick. So when you go over, I'm not gonna do the whole get distance and reach out with both hands. I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to reach straight down with one hand, my back hand, so I can twist around and come down with my right foot. Watch. One, two, and it comes bang across, just like that. Actually, I hope you can see this. I'm gonna do it slightly towards you guys so you can see kind of how that arc comes across someone's face. You're gonna be squared up, ready to go. You're going to reach down with your back hand and your front leg is gonna kick like that. Now, I can already hear the comments. You guys are typing because you don't think this works. Um, guys, I gotta be honest with you. I've seen it work actually. Like, you'd be surprised how off guard people can get if you do a cartwheel in mid fight. Now, if your opponent's ready for it, it won't work. That's just how it is. If your opponent knows you're gonna cartwheel, it won't work. But if your opponent doesn't expect it, then it, you can land it instantly, and it can be quite devastating. Having that foot just come around the top and side of their head just to completely drop them. So again, be careful. I have seen it work in different types of tournaments and stuff like that, where I've seen people get knocked out, like flat out knocked out by this technique. But you have to be fast, and you have to do it when you know they're not expecting it. Uh, if, if, you, if they are expecting it, they're gonna catch you, and it's not gonna be good for you, so keep that in mind. So the next technique will be with a bat, and honestly, I don't really have a bat, which is kinda weird. I expected to have a bat, but I don't. So we're gonna use this as the bat. So our rope side of the sheath, of the sword sheath, will be our handle, and this side will be the big end of the bat, with the uh, business end of the bat. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a little flair to this. So what we're, we're gonna do, we're gonna start upside down so you can get the speed of the bat because swinging, swinging the small end can get a lot faster. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna stun your, par your the target with the small end of the bat. You're gonna go one to the head and two to the inside of the knee. Just one more time. You, again, swinging the small end, one to the head, and two to the inside of the knee. Just nice and quick, pop, pop. Now, from there, you're going to flip it upside down, because again, we're adding a little bit of flair because we are Halloween. You're going to two hand and take their clock off, just bang, across the head. So again, using the small end of the bat first, you're gonna go one, two, you're gonna do flip it over because you just, you know, crapped them across the head, and broke their knee, so you have a little bit of time. You're gonna flip it over, use that big end, two hand swing, bang, play some golf. <laughs> one more time, all the way through. You're gonna do one, two, three. Lastly, we're gonna be going over a kick combination. Now, this kick will be a little bit difficult for uh, beginners, and so if you haven't learned our roundhouse kick, our backspin kick, or our tornado kick, definitely go and check that out on the Combat for Dummies. Uh, web series here on this channel, just check that out and then come back or keep this in, the, in your mind. Practice that and then practice this. But, so once, what we're gonna do is gonna be three kicks. We're gonna start with our right leg behind us, or I guess you can reverse this, but right now we're gonna be right leg behind us. You're gonna do the first kick, which is gonna be a nice roundhouse kick to the ribs. Just one, two to the ribs, spinning through that you don't pull your foot back this time and you one. Now the next thing we're gonna do is 
with our left leg. We're going to back spin kick to the face. Two. Just like that. So, one, two. Now, our last one is going to be a tornado kick where knee up and you kick. So, watch again. I'm going to go towards this one so you can see a little bit better, hopefully. Round right kick to the ribs. Back to the kick to the head. Step through. Left knee up. Right leg. Kick to the head. One more time. We're going to start a little bit farther back so you can hopefully see the whole thing. One, two, three. Hey. I love not having to wait very long. It's just kind of bang. Going down. I hope so. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> I know a lot of you have been waiting for Harley Quinn. I'm sorry, I don't have a bat, but I'm also not getting paid, so I can't buy a bat right now. Um, if you guys want me to do part twos of any of our superhero uh, like a superhero series is let me know and I'll be more than happy to do a part two. If you want me to do any other character in particular, uh, definitely let me know in the comments because I will put those characters higher in the list. Like, don't get me wrong. I know a lot of comics and video games and movies and so I have a lot of characters on my list to get eventually. But you can help them come faster if um, if you let me know what you want to see next. So uh, let me know. I know I know you're gonna ask for Batman. Batman's coming. It's, it'll take a second because I need to do really well. I need to get a lot of information for Batman because he's trained for so long. But Batman's coming. The big ones are coming. Just let me know what you want to see next. So. I hope you guys enjoy. If you want to see the next episode, definitely subscribe and hit that bell on the bottom right corner of your screen so that you can be notified when I post next. So with all that said, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja and I'm out.